when presidential elections happen, it's either someone wins or someone loses, right? No, because you can tie. Obviously, tying is very rare, but on three occasions, it's happened. When it is a tie, it's called a contingent election. When there is a tie, the decision comes up to the United States House of Representatives. Altogether, there are 441 representatives, and six of them are non-voting. The amount of representatives depends on the amount of population in that state. For example, California, the most populated state, has 53 representatives, while a small state like Alaska or Wyoming only has one representative. So then, the House of Representatives votes. But if you have watched the video on how the president is elected, you know the Electoral College decides the votes. But when the House of Representatives votes, it is different. When the House of Representatives votes, each state has one vote no matter how many people live there. The Electoral College has nothing to do with it. The candidate needs 26 states to win the election. But then, what if there's a tie in the House of Representatives? Then the House keeps voting until a president has 26 votes. But what if the House can't get a president by Inauguration Day? Now, if you don't know what Inauguration Day is, it's the day where the elected candidate finally enters and lives in the White House, unless the elected candidate is the president. So what if that happens? Then the vice president who is elected by the Senate becomes the president until the House decides who the president is. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and ring the bell.